So the next thing we'll look at is how we can make changes to the desktop and other items on the iPad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap onto the settings icon and from general I'm going to scroll down until I see accessibility accessibility and this time what we want to do is we're going to explore what's in zoom so let's tap on zoom and you can see zoom is, is off just now but there's quite a lot of our other features in there and we're going to be covering some of these later for example a full of focus smart typing and um, zoom controller and zoom region as well and also just down here we've got the zoom level so the zoom level goes from uh, 1.2 right up to 14, 15. Okay, so again, that's a useful feature to know that so that's down there. So before I switch zoom on, I'd just like to draw your attention to where it says zoom magnifies the entire screen. And you can see there's some instructions there. Double tap three fingers to zoom, uh, drag three fingers to move around the screen, and double tap three fingers to drag and change the zoom. And I'll explain those, although you probably won't be able to see my fingers doing it. So, so that's double tap three fingers to zoom. So I'm going to turn on zoom. So I've got my fingers on now. And what I'm doing is I'm just with my three fingers, I'm moving them up and down the screen and zooming in out till I find uh, something that's comfortable for me to, to view. Similarly, if I go to the home screen, remember we couldn't increase the icons with display and text size. But now if I just tap and double tap again, so I can just slowly, and with my three fingers on, I can also just move around the screen as well. Okay, so that's just using three finger double tap and three fingers to move around. So let's take that off and we're back in back, back from back to the start again. So let's go back into accessibility and into zoom. And let's look at some of those other features. So that for some people, it might be quite difficult to do that. So we can look at ways in which we can maybe make that a bit easier to do. And to, to do that, we can use what's called Zoom Controller. So I'm going to go into Zoom Controller. And again, there's some uh, useful information here, what we can do. But I'm going to just tap on Zoom Controller so you get an idea. And you can see what happens is this icon appears. So let's turn it off and turn it on. And we've got Zoom Controller. So how does that work? So let's go back to the desktop and it's still there. Now, if I tap onto that, there's a menu. And what I can now do is there's a slider bar. So there's another way in which we can just easily magnify in and out rather than using our three fingers to tap to do that. So that's one option. But we also have different regions in which we can magnify. So just now, when I go to region, you can see it's the full screen, but we can maybe, for example, have a window option. So let's just tap onto that again and let's look at the window option. That's it. So now we have a window option. OK, and now that's just maybe a bit easier just to magnify. There's not a great deal of magnification there, but let's just tap on the magnification and now we can just zoom in seeing that information so that might be quite handy now you can also just by tapping onto the zoom controller we can resize the lens so you might want it maybe smaller you can see you've got the buttons or you might want it to make it bigger like that so i'm just tapping and holding the sort of uh, circles there just to make that easier to see and then once you've done that we can go again Okay, now there's other things in there. There's, for example, there's choose filter, so we can maybe have inverted. Um, so you can just have that bit inverted as you're going around. What I'm actually doing is I'm just tapping on the little handle at the bottom. You can see there's a handle there. I'm also just tapping on there just to do that as well. Uh, so let's go, let's change the filter. Let's go back to none. The other thing, option that we have in a zoom is this thing called pin zoom. So if we tap on pin zoom, now what's happening is you can see on the top of the screen, uh, it's as it was, but the bottom of the screen is magnified. So now as I uh, move about, you can see these options here are being magnified. But let's go back into our zoom controller because the other option we have got is choose position. So when we go into choose region, 
and we choose the pins, we can choose the position of where we want it to be. Do we want it to be at the top? Choose position. Do you want it to be on the right hand side? So now when I'm moving these items about, one's larger and one is, so that's splitting the screen in half. But again, you can just tap onto, onto the controller and you can move that just as you want it. And finally, we can go into choose region and uh, we want pin zoom. We can go back to our uh, full screen window zoom like that and then we can magnify that off again. Let's just take that, that down so we're out of control. Okay, so, or we can just use zoom out to get there. Okay, so going back into general and back into accessibility and back into zoom and I'm going to turn it off now. Okay, and that also turns off the zoom controller. So that's zoom and we've also got zoom controller. Now if, now if you have an external keyboard, which we'll be looking at shortly, you can also control it by using keyboard shortcuts. So there's some useful keyboard shortcuts just so that you know that that information's there. And of course we also have zoom filters which we looked at, such as inverted uh, and grayscale. Now these things might not necessarily come uh, if I just tap on to zoom now, so you can see what we've got is with inverted. Um, let's just go back. Let's just do my three fingers, one, two, three fingers, and zoom out of there. Uh, so that's, you can see how you, you can sort of invert the colors of, of the zoom as well. So lots of useful features that are in there that would, that would work. Now if I switch zoom off, the color will go as well. So that's uh, settings, accessibility, and if we just go back a level, all those features are there in Zoom.